What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to fix the black screen issue you are getting when launching or while playing Modern Warfare. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. So first of all, open up your Blizzard Launcher and in the game options select Scan and Repair to verify the integrity of your game files. This may take a minute to complete, as it will download and replace any missing or corrupted files. Also. Make sure that your Blizzard launcher is running on the newest version. When this is done, open up your GeForce Experience application, or if you're using an AMD graphics card, then use its driver program, and make sure that your GPU driver is up to date. You can do this in the driver tab, which will automatically download and install the newest GPU driver. When going back to home and clicking on details for Modern Warfare, you will also be able to use custom settings when selecting this wrench icon. If you are getting a black screen when launching the game, then make sure to set its slider all the way to performance and set the resolution to your native monitor resolution. After applying your changes, you can close this window and open up your task manager. Here in the processes tab, make sure to end all of the programs which could change your game files or show an overlay while playing the game. In my case, that would be Steam, CCleaner, Discord, Skype, GeForce Experience and even my antivirus program. In the Startup tab, you should also end some programs from starting up on System Boot. Lastly, open up your File Explorer and navigate to your documents. Here, go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Players 2 and open up the config.cfg file with a text editor like Notepad. Make sure to set this option to Windowed No Border. You can verify the text in the description below. Scroll down a bit and make sure that this is set to your native monitor resolution. Don't forget to save your changes before closing the file. If the settings don't save, then you will have to access the file's properties and set its attributes to read only. If nothing worked, then you will have to uninstall the game and reinstall it to your SSD to see if the issue is linked to your hard drive. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.